All right, guys, I'm heading out to check out a collection uh, before work. We're opening today at noon. It is bright and early, um, just about 9 o'clock, and I'm heading out to check out a collection of vintage Transformers and some other stuff. Uh, not too far from us. A gentleman stopped in the shop the other day and said he had a collection, so we're going to go check that out and then back to the shop, and we have some stuff from uh, our distributors here. We're going to show you some of the new stuff that came in, but uh, let's go see this Transformers collection. All right, guys, so we picked up the collection. We made a deal. Um, so here we got some Lego boxes only on those, honestly. I wasn't going to take them, but I figured someone might need them for something. Um, that's that's just the stuff I got from the distributor. Um, but the bed of the truck is full. We'll go through it when we get to the shop. I think uh, Shane is coming over as well. He's going to give us a hand. Um, I stopped to grab some coffee and a, a bagel here to eat, and then I'm uh, heading back to the shop. But, yeah, we'll go through this stuff. And like I said, cool stuff. I don't know. I'm just talking now. I'm just babbling. I need to drink coffee. All right, guys, so we're back at the shop. Let me give you a little quick sneak peek of what we got here. Um... So we got some uh, Legos. There, there are no Legos in these boxes. These are just Lego boxes, but I figure someone might be interested in to complete their sets. We have some constructs from Fisher Price. They all look pretty complete, but that's gonna be a job for uh, someone else to go through. Maybe uh, Ocean Queen here can help. I'm surprised you haven't punched me in the nose yet. So what else do we have here? And we'll go through this in more detail once we get it in. There's some old Mad Magazine, some old board games. But we're getting to the good boxes, right? So we have mask. You can see uh, we have a mask there. We have a couple mask vehicles here. Is that a transformer? What is that thing? It's not a transformer. It's something. Not sure. We have some muscle men. We have an Uzi. Travel mastermind. Some other randomness. Um, oh, that's for the other box. I was gonna say, where's the where's the box? I forgot the good box. So we have another box back here, which we have a Shogun Warrior. We have a bunch of Transformers with their accessories in here. And we'll go through all this again in detail when we get inside. And we do have, and I know someone out there is going to want this. We have the Disco Snoopy plush. I mean, he is, I don't know what, he's hes just something else. What do you think? He's pretty groovy, huh? Would, would you rock that thing? That's awesome. I love his shoes. He's great. A couple Star Wars. We've got Slave One, Dagobah playset, a part of a Hoth playset. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get this stuff unloaded up into the building. Some of this stuff might be on the shelves uh, today. Most of it will probably be up um, and ready. We have to sort and clean, obviously, and get it out this week. But uh, we'll be here today from 12 till 7, I think. We change our hours, so we'll be actually be here on Monday. So anyways, guys, I'll catch you here in the shop, but I'm gonna go inside and go through this in a little more detail and uh, get some toys. All right, guys, we got it all inside. It's cool to have a collection in here that we just picked up out in the wild, which we haven't had since we started opening. People have been bringing them in. But uh, it's cool to see all the boxes on the, the carpet. But look at this. So they had a garage sale back in the probably the 80s or the 90s, and this stuff didn't sell. You have a Slave One for $1.50. Obviously, I didn't pay them $1.50 for it. We have a Shogun Warrior. Two bucks didn't sell back in the day. He's complete. He's nice. That thing will fly. There. Ah! Should have had that instead of Ocean Queen. <laughs> but a bunch of random stuff. So we got like What's Hot magazine, some um, boxes here. I transferred the Transformers into a tote because the bottom was uh, had a hole in it. Stuff was falling out when I moved it. I didn't want something to fall in between the deck boards because I would not want to crawl underneath there to get something. So we have Optimus Prime. He does have a broken smokestack, but we have um, probably about 15, 20 Transformers. We have the Constructicons. What's this other one called? I forget. Like I get, you guys know, I'm sucky with Transformers, but the uh, transforming, what's the car combiner called? I don't remember. Combiner Man. He is now Combiner Man. <laughs> this is not Soundwave. What's this one? Sound Blaster, Blaster. right? Blaster. So, we have him, and he's got one of the little uh, cassettes in there. You're better at Transformers than me. Which cassette is that? I think it's Ravage. It might be Ravage. I will learn Transformers eventually, guys. Then we have this, Scavenger's Gold. Here, I can't open it with one hand, but Shane's here, so. I've never seen one of these before. It's kind of a little pocket game type thing. Yeah, we think. Well, we know, but. Yeah, it's got its little pieces. It's got the pieces in there. So it's a little pocket board game you'd bring with you. That spins it. Right, how do you get it up? I don't remember what I did. Well, there's a board that comes out. On the, but there's another one. Let me see it real quick. What's the brand on it? Um, Milton Bradley. The one? Yeah, there's one more. We have another one that's like a Dungeons one, but this one is a uh, Scavenger's Gold. But you push that and it flips back and spins your wheels. And there's a game board in there that comes out. Okay, Shane no. figured out how to get that one out. 
So yeah, it's just a little pocket board game, which is pretty cool. There you go, what we get? Oh, one and one-ish. So, some really cool stuff. We have some mask vehicles. We got Jackhammer. Uh, this one has the missiles, nice. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. So we have, uh, which one, what's this one called? It's not Condor. Uh, Chris Bujalaki will be mad at me since I don't know the name of this thing. I really need to look at the camera when I'm pointing because it was pointed in a region that no one wants to see of you, <laughs> especially on uh, YouTube. So got another mask. We got some Legos. I guess those probably go to some of these boxes, but there's not enough to be complete, that's for sure. We have Mastermind, or Merlin, rather, Merlin, the game. We got a Koosh. Who remembers Koosh balls? I think they probably still make these, but this is not going to be for sale, guys. This is going straight to the table of I Remember, the TV of I Remember. So if you guys were in here, I know a lot of people were trying to buy some of this stuff. And then when I get multiples, I will. But for now, I want to share this with everybody so they, too, can remember something that they had. Um, it's almost my little museum of when I was a kid. So that's going to stay like that. But I'm going to go and sort this stuff. I'm going to get this stuff out on the shelves um, so we have it here available for you guys when you come into the shop. Sunday, we did awesome. Like I said, we were initially going to close early um, on Sundays, but for at least for the holiday season, for Christmas, we are going to stay open until 6, I think we have it, and then Mondays we're going to be open as well. So we'll be here seven days a week. So if you want to come in and uh, see our very tired, handsome faces, beautiful faces, smiling faces, whatever, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm really tired, and I just started drinking coffee, so... Yeah, I'm going to stop babbling. I've, I've had a lot of babble moments lately, but I don't have enough sleep moments. I did sleep last night, though. I did sleep, believe it or not. Okay, work. Less less chat, more work. I'm going to show you the Star Wars I forgot. There's not many. It's just the Dagobah play set, incomplete. Um, what's that one called? Hoth battle set, and then the slave one. And we do have an old boom box that works. Did I go into the rest of these totes yet? I haven't showed them everything. Hold on. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself here, guys. So we have some Mad Magazines. We have some Nintendo Power. Like the first few issues of Nintendo Power we picked up. This is full of weapons for the Transformers. Here's Shane when he was little. <laughs> got some muscles. We got some muscle men. We got a grenade. We got a... What's the Gobot that turns into the, the pistol? I don't know. It's a Gobot. I know this because it says Gobots. It's Entech. So, Travel Monopoly or Travel Mastermind. We got this thing. Arco Industries, this probably goes to some like shoot 'em duck game type thing. But, anyways, guys, oh, and I told you I'd show you one of the things we got. Where's that big box? Did you bring it in here? Bum, bum, bum. Do, do, do. Yeah, it's over this way. Bum, bum, bum. This is one of several boxes. You want to. Right oh, he sent me the wrong way. That's what I was supposed to be. I'm going to aim high and look at the stuff that we put up. Some new stuff we got up. We got the new Thundercats in. Um. If you want to pull one of the items out, we'll show what's in there. This is a. Uh, we sold some of these geeky tiki's, but we did restock them. So we just got these in from our distributor. I believe we have six of them, six or seven of them. But the new Origins Castle Gray Skulls, those will be here. Let's show the box because the box is beautiful. The cardboard's cardboard. Oh, if you guys haven't found any of these yet, we do have some in stock, just in time for Christmas. If Shane can get out of the box. This is the problem. Sometimes you get these things straight from the distributor and the boxes yeah, are already smushed. A little crinkled. But it's still good. Still displays nice. You have the special edition uh, sorceress in there. So, yep, we have those in stock now. We'll have, I think we have. I think we got five or six of them because the other box I have is bigger. I forget how many I ordered. But we ordered those guys, and we do still have a bunch of the Origins. We do not have Trap Draw. Those are gone. I never got any Trap Draw, I don't think. I think that one was canceled on me. And then um, we do not have, what was the other one people were looking for? Roboto I don't have yet. But we still have Scareglow, Zodak, Turning Goddess. We have a bunch of them, just not all of them yet. Uh, but they will hopefully get in stock. I'm trying to order them as they come out. But not ordering 50,000 cases like everybody else uh, kind of hurts us, I think, with the distributors. But maybe next time we'll get those ones in. All right, I'm going to stop babbling. I'm probably, probably going to get to work here. You want that box too? Yeah. Why not? You're stealing my shipper boxes? People like those. All right, here. I got some boxes over. Why am I videotaping this? I'm videotaping boxes. I donate boxes to Shane. So here you go. Here's some nice heavy-duty boxes. Yes, sir. You want those ones? I'll take them. 
See, I don't even need to recycle. I just give stuff to Shane. There you go. Look at that. What's that? I'll recycle for you. Awesome. All right. All right. Well, we restocked our Star Wars uh, case here, guys. We got to put a bunch more loose completes in here. We got a uh, do back. We sold the slave one we had in the box, but we do have a complete Imperial transporter we put in here now. We have some Ewoks. The snow speeder is complete. It was missing the harpoon, but we found one. Y wing is complete. Interceptor is complete. Hoth ice play set. That's a really nice scout walker. Factory sealed except for the tape broke. So I guess it's not technically factory sealed anymore. All right, we're going. We're taking all these boxes upstairs. We open up in half an hour. So Shane and I are getting this up. But I found this one in a box. I forgot about it until I saw it. That's the whole name of this game, man. This just unlocked a memory. I remember getting this. You'd have the little pen. Like, uh, it was probably like some kind of lemon juice or whatever. But you'd write on it and there was all the secret codes. Mr. Mystery has earned a place on the table of memories. So if you guys want to check out Mr. Mystery, I know you had one of these when you were a kid. Um, if you grew up when I grew up. So he's going on there with all this other cool stuff. And yes, there is uh, UV film, so no sun damage. But we're going to get back to getting the rest of these boxes upstairs and uh, getting this place ready for some customers. All right, so we have a little thing of die cast that was in there. We have Batman. Is that his motorcycle? I'm assuming that's it. Nice. Pretty cool. And then we had a Batmobile. All right. Is this a dinky toy? Probably Corgi, maybe? Corgi. That's the one I was thinking of. So we have him. Spider-Man. Ooh, Spider-Man needs a car. <laughs> he was here the other day. He drove. There's no tall buildings. <laughs> that one's interesting. A Pink Panther motorcycle. Yeah, not sure I ever saw that. Yeah, I'm not sure. I've never seen that either. So These have been loved, obviously. No red lines that I noticed, but... I know a lot of you guys like die cast, so this was in that collection. I figured I'd show it to you. That's that kit. This is a Corvette. This motorcycle looks like it should have someone on it, too. But. All right, we're going to get back to moving stuff up and sorting. We did get a D&D &D, uh, box set here. I had a gentleman and his son that were in here the other day looking for D&D, &D, and this was in this collection. So it was meant to be. I will uh, set that aside. And I'm getting some tables up here this weekend so I can get all this stuff off the ground. A lot of these boxes are just stuff we're sorting uh, from collections, 80s house. I still love this Snoopy. What's that? Like a clock? Like a baby toy? Yeah. That might go in the uh, donation bin probably. Probably. We'll do a quick search and see if it's uh, worth keeping, but that'll probably get donated. So, Lots of stuff, guys. This stuff is going down every day. Stuff is going downstairs. Um, we just got to clean stuff up and get it down. A lot of this stuff is attic fresh, including Shane. He smells like an attic. Yes, sir. Is that a good smell or? Oh, yeah. All right. What's that, an old TV uh, guide? It's uh, Things You Never Knew Existed. A White Castle shirt. That's interesting. That might be fun to look through. Cool. I, that's the thing I love about buying collections like this. It's like attic fresh. There's a bunch of cool stuff. Look at these cracked magazines. Was that a Roger Rabbit one? First one? Uh, I think it was a... Yes. Mad, Mad Magazine. Magazine. With Roger, Gizmo. Who else we got? Norman Schwarzkopf. Spidey. Spider -Man. Hey, he was here this week. He was. Whoa, hey. Back to the future. I feel like you're going back in time when you're in this store, huh, guys? Awesome. Was that a California Raisin one? Raisins. Nice. Another Back to the Future. I love Mad Magazines. That's funny. So, all right, I'm gonna go get stuff. I gotta see. I think this battle wagon's complete. I need to go through that, get that up. These, um, these little guys. All right, guys. Well, another episode of Toy Shop Life. And um, I know we always show the fun stuff, going through collections, talking with people, laughing, showing people all the magical wonders and stuff that they haven't seen since they were kids. My favorite thing, as you guys know, is when someone sees a toy and they say, I had that! I always say, you can have it again at Sergeant Red's. But people come in here left and right, like today, just people coming in, even if they're not buying something, it's so cool to see people super excited over something that they uh, had when they were a kid. But anyway, I'm getting off my topic here. As you can probably tell, I'm doing some of the less glamorous stuff uh, here at the, the shop. Toy sorting, fun. Digging for toys, fun. 
selling toys, fun. Chat with customers, fun. Vacuuming psychedelic carpet. Yeah, you know, not the funnest thing in the world. But anyways, me and a uh, nice guy, Be Nice Bujalaki, is that what his name was? I forget. We're gonna go uh, grab some dinner here. We've been at the shop for a while. He's been helping me out today. Um, I'm gonna turn this off because I'm about done vacuuming. I'm glad we bought this little cordless vacuum because the corded one was just kind of a pain in the butt. This one doesn't have the same suction power as the corded vacuum. This is not a vacuum cleaner commercial.